what's going on guys hope you're having a great day out there today guys we are out here once again with the armor limitless you know we've had uh, some very mixed emotions about this car <laughs> and whether or not i was even going to keep running this thing now i've been talking with some more people about this thing um and some pointers i'm wanting to do you know the big thing i found out on the last time of running this thing and getting it on the bench and taking a look at it was i found out that this front steering block um, the bearing had actually melted into it and it was creating this tire to wobble really bad especially you know once you got about quarter half throttle it just i mean it was unreal how out of balance that thing was and the bearing was mounted you know melted in there kind of crooked and it was it was pretty messed up but anyway we got new bearings in it got a new steering block I'm going to run this thing on 6S right now. I am not going out for speed. I'm not even putting the GPS in there because I don't care at this point. My goal right now is to just make some passes on it, um, just run it up and down for a little bit here and get comfortable with it, get comfortable with the radio, and uh, I'm going to slowly start building up to trying to hit those higher digits again. You know, I think we had 114 with this thing so far, and um, you know, it was sketchy, and I've had lots of crashes, and I'm tired of crashing. <laughs> So we're going to take this slowly. We're going to run this thing on 6S today and uh, have a little fun with it and just make some clean passes, guys. That's all we're after right now. So got the batteries in this thing. I just threw a couple of the um, Yuwoo 5200 milliamp. Um, I think these are 60C uh, 3S LiPos in here. So I'm going to go ahead and run them on there. I'm going to plug my Game Changer fan into one of my 3S LiPos, and we're going to get this thing fired up and have a little fun with it, guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, I got the batteries in here fired up. Just kind of messing with the steering trim a little bit. And uh, just zipping up and down the road a few times here. Getting comfortable with the steering on this thing because it is a lot more touchy than your normal basher. I mean, you know, one tiny little movement. You know, I have the uh, steering rate turned way down. I think I have it down at like 15 or 20%. But, you know, with these tires and wheels on this thing and just the nature of the car, um, it wants... It wants to steer really quickly, but she seems to be making pretty straight lines. And of course, I've been down here for over an hour and there hasn't been any cars. And now I bust out the car, and now we got a car. Bring her back in here so somebody don't run her over. And guys, I am running this thing on the GRB um, slicks. You know, the street tires I have been running the Hoons, but I went to the GRPs and been running them on here. And, uh, Hopefully we can get some clean passes in with this thing. I'll certainly tell you one thing. The tires heat up really fast and the little tiny pebbles start sticking to it. I'm going to take her down there a little further this time and bring in another pass back. I'm trying to make sure. It seems to be like traffic coming now. But, all right. She's staying pretty straight. It seems like it's always wanting, it's slightly pulling kind of to the right a little bit. I've been messing with the steering trim a little bit. Sorry guys, I know this video might not be uh, too exciting for some. Uh, if you're into speed run stuff, you know, maybe it will be. But, you know, I've been trying to show my progress on this thing. And uh, just messing around with it. I'm learning. You know, I can't just go out there and go whole ham on the thing right off the bat like I do with the bashers. <laughs> It's a little bit more of a fine art to this thing for sure. I'm gonna bring it back down for another pass and check the temps on everything. I'm not I haven't been running it too hard at all, but like I said, guys, I'm not trying to break any speed records today. I'm just trying to get the hang of this thing and get comfortable with the controller because I don't have much time behind the car or the controller. So every one of them is a learning experience. All right, I took her down there a little further. Got about down that speed limit sign down there. Gonna bring her back down here for another run. That's about one third throttle, I guess, right around in there. I mean, this thing's got a ton of power, guys, and I cannot use it by any means yet. It's got way more than what I'm comfortable with, and uh, I'm not afraid to admit that because clearly. You know, I haven't mastered the speed run <laughs> thing yet, but I'm learning. I'm trying to make baby steps now. She's staying very nice and straight now. I will definitely say that. It is not wandering off to one side. Um, 
you know, whenever you tromp on the gas a little harder, she's not trying to dart off in any direction. So I think a lot of that pulling really hard that was going on was due to that steering knuckle, that bearing melted in there and it was causing it to go really off balance. All right, we're gonna make one more pass. We might roam around and try to find some other areas to run this thing at, because I know this is still a really sketchy road, but like I said, I'm not trying to go too crazy. <laughs> Just trying to get some passes and a little street time on it. She has no problem drifting. Don't want to smoke these tires off though. All right, guys, well, we have moved locations and I may have found a perfect spot to do this. This is a dead end road going down to a boat dock on the other side of our park. There's not much traffic on here. It's about three lanes, four lanes wide. So we're gonna chuck the batteries back into Limitless and give her a few more passes, guys. Also, guys, I did decide to throw the GPS in here and uh, just see what we're getting on 3S. I do have 4S batteries with me, so if I feel comfortable and start getting some clean passes on this, we might take this thing up to 8S and see what she can do. All right, guys, we're gonna take her up the road here for first pass. Messing with the steering trim a little bit. Seems like she's going pretty straight. Sorry, I know there's lots of lulls and not so much exciting stuff, but it's kind of the speed run thing. Got to kind of <laughs> make sure everything's working properly. Coast is clear that way. All right, let's give her a pass. This road is going to work out much better, I think. That was pretty much wide open on the 3S. Um, so, bring it back for another pass. She's running nice and straight. So that makes me happy. Bring her back and see what she's getting on the 3S here. Now, the 3S, the one 3S I have in here isn't fully charged. Well, I was using it in the Rift for a little while, so... I know it's not full power on 3S, but again, guys, we're just trying to make some clean passes. All right, well, 93 for running on, you know, a 60C 3S LiPo, not too bad. Um, really happy with that. The passes were nice and straight, and I didn't crash, which is a huge bonus. So I am going to throw the 4S in here. I'm probably not even going to go full crazy. I'm just going to try open her up and see if uh, at least we can break some triple digits today. All right, well, now I'm going to run them on a set of the Ovonic um, Rebel Series 5200 milliamp 100C LiPos. Really been loving these batteries in uh, all my pastures and all the cars. They've been running great. Got great run time and good punch to them. So, guys, we're going to run the Limitless on this. I'm only going to make a few passes because I don't have one of my small 3S LiPos to run my Game Changer fan. And uh, I need to get that new regulator that he sells um, so I can run it off of any one of the adapters on the batteries. Uh, I've been seeing Earl Moorhead and some guys run them. They look like they're awesome. So you can run the game changers even if you don't have, you know, one of the small packs. And that way you don't need one of the small packs. But anyway, guys, let's take this thing out for another pass. All right, guys, I'm going to take her down here. I'm going to bring it back up this way, I think, is what direction I seem to be liking doing it the best. So... I'm going to take her down there a little ways. If I can get some good run out of this thing. I got the GPS tracking. All right, we're going to go and turn around there. I know you guys probably can't even see it anymore. But, all right, coast is clear. Boy, she was moving a lot better that time. <laughs> Holy cow. And that was about... I'm just going to say somewhere around half throttle. All right, we're going to bring her back for another pass this direction, I think. Coast is clear. Oh, yeah. She's moving. I think we found a winner on the road, finally, guys. This road is working out quite nicely. Not much traffic, it's nice and wide, so if you gotta make corrections. All right, we're gonna bring her up here. Stop the GPS and see what we got with her right now. All 
All right, well, we broke the triple digits. We hit 112, and the 114 was my personal best so far. We might take her out and give her one more rip. I'm going to let my nerves calm down here. We might give her another run here, guys, and see if we can beat my personal best here today. All right, guys, we're going to give her one more rip here. We got her lined up up there, so let's give her up to her. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Ooh, she was opened up pretty good there. I feel like that was pretty decent. Losing it in the shade or the shade down there, it's kind of hard to see it. I'm trying to be gentle. <laughs> All right, here she comes. All right, this is gonna be my last pass. That one was, should I say? We're gonna check the speed on that one and see what she's got. Well, guys, we didn't beat, but we tied my personal best. We hit 114 mile an hour. Um, biggest thing, guys, they were clean, didn't crash, and I finally find myself a good spot to do this on. Um, you know, I feel like I could go back up again in the gearing a little bit like I originally had because I had dropped the gearing down because I just wasn't able to wind it out. But in this spot, I could definitely stay on a little longer. So. I think we finally found a winner place to run this thing guys but i couldn't be happier honestly you know got some great runs out of this thing the thing's running straight um obviously didn't crash this thing and finally at least hit you know 114 on this thing and that was awesome just really happy all right well we made some good passes today some clean passes the limitless is coming back in one piece which is a lot more than i can say it has for the last couple times we've had this out guys also guys i am really happy with these grp tires i mean when they start getting warm they get super sticky i mean and you can see that they're running you know pretty much on all of the tread you know they're not just run on the inside or anything so so far i'm really liking these tires and i'm going to continue to run these i'm liking these a lot better than the hoons for sure but guys we made some great passes, finally even tied my personal best on this thing, and uh, we find a great spot to run this thing at now, and there'll be more to come with this, and uh, continue to have some fun, and hopefully not any more crashes. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, so until next time, y'all be safe, be careful out there, peace out, everybody.